Hello, welcome to your five-day Mohawk Valley forecast. I'm Jeff Matthews, Accurate Educational Fun, and live streaming on Facebook, like the Weathertainment fan page. Here's your quiz teaser to think about. How much of the sun's energy actually hits the Earth? One one millionth of the sun's output? One one billionth? One one trillionth? Or about a twelfth? Here's your three weather headlines. Minor lake effect event going into Thursday midday, but it's not a big deal. It'll wind down by lunchtime. Temps are going to be warming up this upcoming weekend. No surprise there. And the next precip coming in on Tuesday will be rain, not snow. As temperatures will be in the 40s at that point. So there you go. 30, 28, 38, 40 over the weekend with Thursday morning the last significant snow for the next four, five, six, seven days. There is warmer air pooling over the Midwest the breadbasket of the nation, all of the western half of the country in relatively warmer weather, 50s, 60s, and 70s. That warmer air will begin pushing in Saturday and Sunday. Now, not quite that warm, but still milder. But in the short term, little area of lower pressure moving right across Toronto, Canada, and into Montreal and Ottawa, and then over north and eastern parts of the state of New York, is ringing out some snow showers with its passage and then creating a little bit of lake effect behind it for Thursday morning. I don't think this is going to be a big deal, but it is lake enhancement, and people's ears tend to perk up when they hear that. So, in terms of its impact, low. The impact, what there will be, is in the snow category, a little bit of wind Thursday morning. How sure am I about this? My confidence level, through the roof. You don't have to worry about this. Two, maybe three inches total between Wednesday night and Thursday. The bulk of the snow will be up in the Adirondacks, ski country, as I call it, and in the Tug Hill Plateau, where even there, we're only talking about five or six inches. So this is not a tremendous snow event. But for the rest of us, anywhere from Syracuse to Albany, one, two, maybe three inches of snow. Wednesday, look at how close the forecast was. 35 was the high, 35 was the forecast high. The average is 33. A low is 31, I forecasted 29, 14 is the average, so that's quite a bit above average. Two-tenths of an inch fell in the form of snow, that's two inches of snow, I expected an inch or two. That brings our seasonal total to 81 inches, 10 hours and 37 minutes of daylight and increasing about two or three minutes every single day. CNY Weathertainment's partner page, check it out, great deals, you can purchase things and support yours truly in the process. Back to our trivia question. How much of the sun's energy actually is intercepted by our Earth? One one millionth of the sun's output? One one billionth? One one trillionth? Or a twelfth? That's a big range. It is not the biggest number, one one trillionth. But it's more than a millionth, or is it? It's either a billionth or a twelfth. What do you think? What do you think? Come on. Are you tempted to be going one way or the other? Turns out it's one one millionth of the sun's output every day is intercepted by tiny planet Earth. Thursday, snow showers in the morning ending, an additional inch after Wednesday night's one or two inches. Cold day, Thursday night mostly cloudy, upper teens. Friday, mixture of sun and clouds. Hey, get out and get some vitamin D, sunshine, high in the upper 20s. And then Saturday, we'll call it dim sun, Sunday, mostly sunny again, and dim sun again on Monday. The temperatures will begin warming up Saturday into Sunday and Monday as well. That is your five-day Mohawk Valley forecast. Make it a great Thursday.